What is up guys, it's Arnek and welcome back. This week I got another quick tip for you. Recently I finished a client project where I wanted to experiment a little with leading the viewer's eyes using visual guides, you know, for better information flow. But when I started the animation process, not all elements were set and the movement, timing and positioning was probably going to change at some point. So I wanted to find an adaptive way to animate this. And I did. First, the intro in three, two, one. So let's see what we actually need to set up that kind of animation. The function we are going to use is called trace paths. So make an educated guess what kind of object we need to work with. It's a path. If you're watching this tutorial, I just assume you know how to create a path, so I will not cover that in this video. If you are using any other shape but a path, you'll have to right-click the element and convert it into a Bezier path. Navigate down to the path property, highlight it and go over to the Create Nulls from Paths panel. If you can't see it, simply go to Window and all the way down here, activate the panel. Now you have three options. The first two pretty much do exactly what they say. By clicking Points Follow Nulls, you'll end up with a null for each of the object points which you then can move around, animate and attach other elements to. The other option does the exact opposite. The nulls will follow whatever you decide to do with the points. But we're now taking a closer look at what we can do with the trace paths option. With the path selected, click on the button. This will create a new null object which is attached to the path. It also is automatically animated with only two keyframes reaching from 0 to 100% progress and it is looped as well. Well, so far so easy, but what makes this tool so incredibly useful for these kind of animations is that you can also work with the keyframes. You can reposition them, ease them and even delete them and create your own. And do all sorts of things with it. Also, you can attach any layer and element to the null. And by the way, here is a small handy trick to save you some time when parenting. Holding down shift while pick whipping will reset everything and smack it right on top of the null. And because the progress is in percentage, we can even attach something like the trim pass effect to that value. And it will all work together nicely. By now, you're pretty much done with the project. But all of a sudden, your client wants to change the design. No worries though. Simply adjust the path of your base element and the null will automatically update itself. And as we parented the circuit to the null, it will come with it too. And this is really why I came to love this tool. Change anything in one place and everything else updates automatically, saving you shitloads of time in the process. And there you go. What did you think of this week's quick tip? If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already and ring that bell to be notified about future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!